to our egg bake. First thing we're going to do, this is a ham and cheese sandwich egg bake. So if you can make a ham and cheese sandwich, and come on, you can do that. This is such a breeze. And it's super tasty. So we're going to take some white sandwich bread. You could also use whole wheat. But you don't want the really, really soft, squishy stuff. I mean, I suppose you could use that. Um, but I like to use, this is stuff from the bakery, or just a little bit of a firmer white bread. You're going to remove the crust. And you can do something with those, make fresh breadcrumbs or something for a meatloaf. You don't have to throw those out. And we're going to spray our dish. Ooh, I almost got the evil eye from Ann. You don't want that, let me tell you. OK, spray the casserole dish, or else Ann will be scrubbing that to high heaven. And Actually, she'll make me do it. She'll say, you didn't spray it. Oh, I'm super excited. Book Club is back. You guys have been asking. We took a little break. But guess what? You book clubbers, we're doing it again. So go get the book and start reading it. It is going to be so much fun. We are. The book we're reading is called Girl in Translation by, by uh, Jean Hewak. So go get the book. You're going to be able to find it. It's gotten really good uh, reviews. And we're headed to this awesome place in uh, Swamico called The Bottle Room. Uh, they are going to be sponsoring our book club. They're going to provide appetizers and munchies. And then uh, we can grab a, a cocktail, a glass of wine, or um, iced tea. Uh, we're meeting there in May. Here's all the details. You've got plenty of time to go get the book, May 14th. So dive into a, a, this book this weekend. Start reading. Call to reserve your spot. That's the best thing to do to reserve your spot now. And the number is right on the screen. Or you can go to our website, uh, fox11online.com, and just click on the Living tab, and the information will be right there. So hope to see you at Book Club. It's so much fun. Spread the word. And uh, this is going to be a great book. So I'm super excited that it's back. You know me. I love to read. And I like talking about the book, too. Ann, come on. I'm going to get you to read this book and come. Oh, she said it's her dad's birthday. Well, he can come too. Their guys do come to book club. They really do. I, I promise you. Okay, ham sandwich. So we basically um, have the the bread down. We're going to take Swiss cheese, and this happens to be the really long Swiss cheese, so it fits perfectly right on top. But you can also just you know cut it to fit. Then we're going to throw some deli ham, or if you have leftover Easter ham, great way to use it up. So a few slices, and I like to use the thinly sliced ham. I love buying ham on Sunday when they're shaving it right there, and then they give you free rolls. So even if you just have diced ham, that'll work too. So throw on your ham, another piece of cheese. On you're basically doing two slices of cheese, a, ham, or a Swiss and a cheddar or Colby on top, and then more bread. So we're really are making ham and cheese sandwiches. But we're going to dress them up. Some of the other things we're making today. Flaming pancakes. Flaming amaretto pancakes. Kind of excited about that recipe. Speaking of ham and cheese and eggs, we're doing a croque madame, one of those fancy French sandwiches. But we're going to show you how you can do it at home. I'm doing a nice, fresh fruit salad that's dressed up with a light poppy seed dressing. And then we have some other fun ideas, too. Well, somebody gets the heel today. I'll work. Oh, well. All right. So I've made kind of a mess, and we'll throw those crusts in the food processor and Make some fresh breadcrumbs, which is great on top of casseroles. OK, now let's get to the egg batter. So our ham sandwich bake is all done. We're going to take eight eggs. Speaking of which, I just did a blog about this. Can't wait to dye Easter eggs. And we do it every year. And I keep waiting for Ireland to say, uh-uh, uh-uh, not happening. 
not doing it. She doesn't. She's still, she's a teenager and she still likes to do it with me. So buy your eggs now if you're going to be dyeing those eggs and doing hard boiled eggs next week because they're really better if they're not fresh, fresh. That's my little tip of the day. And next week we have lots of Easter ideas and recipes. We're doing deviled eggs, my favorite deviled eggs, and lots of other stuff too. Okay, eight eggs, three cups of milk, and not just any milk. We love our lamers. I'm using whole milk for this. We love it in the glass bottle, locally, all local fresh. There we go. Three cups of milk. A little bit of salt. You could do some pepper in there, but we're going to avoid that and keep those black flecks out of it. It's up to you. And a little bit of dry mustard. So then this goes over your sandwiches. So this is, if this is something you're thinking about doing for Easter morning, you do this on Saturday and then you park it in the fridge. Cover it and get it in the fridge and let it sit for, it. if you're gonna just do it in the morning, you gotta get up early in the morning because it needs to sit in this egg batter for at least a couple of hours. But like I say, I'm one of those get her done kind of gal, so I would do this the day ahead, let it sit overnight in the fridge, and then um, all that bread absorbs that wonderful egg batter. Okay, so we're not done yet. In the morning before you're ready to bake this, you take some corn flakes, and I love the crunchies on top of casseroles. I was trying to think of new different things that will work, and for brunch, I love putting corn flakes on top of my brunch bakes. And then you just mix the corn flakes with some melted butter, and it makes the most wonderful crunchy top. So I'm just going to mix that together. You don't put the crunchies on until this sits overnight in the fridge. If you put them on beforehand, they're going to get soggy, and nobody wants, well, they wouldn't be crunchies. I was going to say nobody wants soggy crunchies, but uh, yeah. Anyway, you want to put those on right before you bake. This is going to take a bit to bake. Um, I like to, uh, you know, it's got all that egg in there, so it's a bake at 350 for um, about 45 minutes to 45 to, to an hour. So you mix the butter and the cornflakes together, and then right before baking, this goes sprinkled on over the top, and I'm going to do it, I'll show you how it looks. They get nice and golden, and then this is one of those, and like most brunch bakes, I like to let it sit for about five minutes when you bring it out of the oven. That way you can get in there and slice it nice. But there you go. This is one of my favorites. My kids love it. I mean, what's not to like ham, cheese, and then those great crunchies on the top. And you can get the recipe for this on our website.